ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. From Boeing Starliner to Crew 9, launching from Florida. Liftoff of Crew 9. From Texas and SpaceX's mega Starship test flights to dozens of Falcon 9 Starlink satellite launches. The U.S. launched a record 145 rockets to orbit in 2024. SpaceX alone accounted for 95% of those. And this year, it's only going to get busier. With what the Wall Street Journal calls a traffic jam forming at three critical launch pads in Florida and California approved for big rockets. I think it's going to be intense. Now, smaller launch sites like the Pacific Spaceport on Kodiak Island, Alaska, are marketing themselves as faster and cheaper. Now's the time because we offer availability. We can take uh, a customer and get them up on time. We're not congested. Blue Origin Van Horn, Texas, a launch that is scheduled between 13.30 and 21.30 Zulu. At the FAA's command center, managing air traffic congestion around rocket launches in Florida, California, and Texas is a daily challenge. Experts say the U.S. needs more space ports to compete in the new global space race. George Neald retired as a top space expert at the FAA. How critical is it that the country is able to build out new space ports? Space is very critical for our national security, for our economic competitiveness, for inspiration for our students and our future workforce, and frankly, to support our everyday life. Communications, navigations, weather forecasts, agriculture, financial transactions. Meanwhile, an update from the space station and two astronauts who left in June on a 10-day mission but are now staying until the end of March. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams insist they're both healthy and busy. Um, now we have plenty of clothes. Uh, we are well fed. No, it doesn't feel like we're a castaway. Um, yeah. Eventually, we want to go home because uh, you know, we left our families a little while ago, but, uh, but we have a lot to do while we're up here. Yeah, Williams and Wilmore have some space walks coming up that will keep them busy. Meanwhile, the global space economy, listen to this, set to hit a trillion dollars in the coming years. It's no longer dominated by governments. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Axiom Space are among the companies, the U.S. companies, trying to build a future in space. But right now, as we said, there's a real shortage of space ports. Back here on Earth, you guys. Back to you. All right, Tom, thanks. That's a story we'll keep our eye on. For yeah. Sure. yeah. The speed with which all of this is happening really is yeah. a little startling, too. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.